Hey everyone! So today I thought I would show you guys my Harry Potter shelf. Now my Harry Potter shelf is not my actual bookcase because there is no room for it. It's actually located on my desk. So I'm gonna turn you guys around and give you a little tour of my Harry Potter shelf. Alright, so this is my Harry Potter shelf. As you can see, it has a lot of random little trinkets and a couple of pop vinyls. Yeah, let's just see how we go. I'm going to start at the top because that looks less chaotic. At the top, I have three pop vinyls. I have this Newt Scamander. Um, he's very cute. He came with a little bow truckle as well. He came with Picket, which I absolutely love, which is why I have two Newts. I also have a Harry Potter. This is just the standard Harry Potter um, with his school robes and his wand and his little lightning scar. And he came in a little box set with Voldemort who is also at the back as you can see. This is the Voldemort. His wand has actually snapped off. It's not focusing on it. But the, his wand used to be here. It's still in his hand, but the actual wand part has has snapped off. I can't remember how. And then I have this chocolate frog packet. This is the card that I got, Gilderoy Lockhart. My brother got this for me when he went over to Europe and he went and saw Harry Potter World, even though he has not read a single Harry Potter book and has only seen one movie. I forced him to buy me as much as I could afford at the time, which included a chocolate frog. But I was very disappointed with the card I got, and so I did end up ordering another one online, which I will show you later. There's also this Harry Potter book, which is the Hufflepuff edition of Philosopher's Stone that came out, came out after the 20 years of Harry Potter. As you can see by the sticker. Dedication, patience, and loyalty. This is the hardback version. As you can see, it's just plain black with Harry Potter. It also has a map and a cute ooh, little Hufflepuff blurb thing at the beginning. These are my Hogwarts playing cards. These I got from EB Games, I think, or Zing. They have different houses. So you got Ravenclaw. Or you've got Slytherin, Gryffindor, or Hufflepuff. Next up, I have three wands. First one I got was Harry Potter's wand. I got this off of eBay. I cannot, for the life of me, find the person I bought it from. Um, it wasn't very expensive. Um, it has been broken a couple times and it's actually chipped a little at the bottom. But it's just, it's wear and tear, you know, it just proves it's been used. Next is my Elder Wand or my Dumbledore Wand that I got from Toys R Us for about 7 Australian dollars. Not quite as big in comparison. It is plastic, it's definitely plastic, but it looks good and that's all that matters, right? And then there is my Newt Scamander Wand, which I also bought off eBay. It has it? It literally looks like it's been painted. It is not amazing quality, but it does the job, I think. And it's very cute. I do quite like my Newt's Commander stuff. Then I have these Harry Potter glasses. They don't have any lens. And that is also something that my brother got from when he went to um, Harry Potter Studios in Europe. My brother also gave me this. It's a Hogwarts Castle, the making of Harry Potter ticket stamp. So, Premium Tours Adult Group Studio Tour London. So, he thought that I would appreciate it, and I do, so it sits on my Harry Potter shelf. Next is my Time Turner. It's just the cheap, like, $1 one you can get off eBay. A lot of people have them. It's not made of super great quality, um, but I wasn't going to pay, like, 50 bucks to get a proper one when I can get one cheap. Next is another pop vinyl. Once again, it's Harry, but with a Hedwig because I do love my Hedwig. Then I have this little Hedwig. I got that also from Zing or EB. I will link below, but they will probably be Australian sites, so I'm not quite sure if you're outside of Australia where you'll get these from. Here is my second chocolate frog. 
Um, I should probably just keep one box and just keep the two, but for now I have two boxes. And I quite like that I got Salazar Slytherin this time. Much better than Gilderoy Lockhart, in my personal opinion. Next up we have little Picket here, the bow truckle that came with my other Newt's commander. It's wanting to focus on the background and not on the bow truckle. So that's the bow truckle. But as I said, he only comes with a certain Newt's commander pop vinyl. Here is my lucky last pop vinyl. It is Newt's commander. He has his little egg and he has his little wand. And he is very, very, very cute. Next is my little snitch which I also got from Zing slash EB Games. This is a snitch, comes on its little pedestal, but it can come off. In my dream Harry Potter world, I would be a seeker. And I would have caught a cotton snitch. So I like to pretend that this is the first snitch that I caught. Ooh, next is this very shiny ticket to Hogwarts. The fun fact that my brother told me that the guy at the store told him is that that's the number of Harry's ticket in the first movie. So the more you know, because as much as I am a Harry Potter fan, I am not that big of a Harry Potter fan and I did not know that. But yeah, so this is my Hogwarts Express ticket that obviously I kept from the first day I went to Hogwarts because obviously this is a real ticket and not just a souvenir because I went to Hogwarts, clearly. Do I sound like I'm in denial? It kind of sounds like I'm in denial. These two things right here that they're not focusing on are just little like sticker books that came with my snitch and my head wig that just sort of sit, sort of just have like stickers. A Draco Malfoy! I'm not really sure why this is a thing, but it is a thing so... Yeah, they just sit on my shelf behind everything else because I don't know where to put them. Next up is a Hufflepuff pen that I also got from Zing slash EB Games. It's a cute little pen that I've not actually used. For the second book <laughs> is Fantastic Beasts, the original screenplay, a book I have actually not read. You may have also noticed a distinct lack of Harry Potter and the Cursed Child part one and part two. The other screenplay based on the play that started in London. Um, the reason that I do not have that book is because that book doesn't exist. Yes, contrary to popular belief, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child does not exist. Um, I don't know where everyone's getting this information from. It clearly does not exist. So that's why it is not on the Harry Potter shelf. Next up are the three sort of school books, all of varying covers. So there's Quidditch Through the Ages in the sort of paperback. Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them by Newt Scamander in a sort of more modern cover. Still paperback. And Tales of Beetle the Bard in the original hardback cover. Next is this Deathly Hallows pocket watch. But this was also from Eva Games or Zing. Next we have the Harry Potter covers. Little tidbit, I actually got into Harry Potter pretty late. So I have these sort of new fancy looking covers. They're quite pretty in my opinion. And last but by no means least, as this is probably one of the most expensive things on the shelf, is my Marauders map. Uh, so this is the Marauders map. It expands, will not fit on the screen. It also has little bit flaps that open. It is definitely the most expensive thing on here, but I love it nonetheless. Yeah! Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any other ideas that you want me to do for videos, um, don't be shy, comment down below if you have anything you want to say, anything you want to comment on, any questions, ask it down below. Um, I will link to my last video, our last group video, and Karina's last video um, on the screen somewhere, while also down in the links down below. If you like what we provide on this channel, though it is um, very few and scarce because we are 
very busy university students. But if you want to see more from us, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and we shall see you in the next video. Bye! I'm generally amazed that that's stacked.